Chapter 4 Stranger by the Window Theme Moral Values Kickstart A lesson that not all strangers are bad and we should check ourselves first before pointing a finger at someone else. How is that? thought Neha. That was a book, her new book. She had not even finished reading it. How was it with the man at the window? The window berth was just opposite their cubicle which Neha and her mother were sharing with the lady on the bunk. It was one of the old second class sleeper compartments. Neha liked it. She liked the corridor that separated the cubicles from the window berth. One could have a stroll along it. Neha had been enjoying chit-chatting with her friend Nikhil in the other cubicle. While coming back, just at the entrance of the cubicle, she looked back and spotted the book. How come my book is lying with you, sir, here? Neha cried out. The man did not stir. He was busy reading a newspaper that covered his face sideways. He did not reply. That enraged Neha. Excuse me, she asked earnestly. Yes, the man replied without looking up. Busy reading, uh? Listen, can I take my book? Neha was angry. Your book? Which one? The man looked around. My book, yes, this one, Panchtantra. Neha pointed out to the book lying among a host of other books and magazines kept by his side. Are you sure this is your book? The man asked. His face lit up with a faint smile. He kept on looking at her. This could be mine too. He quipped without waiting for an answer. Is he kidding? A book for children? His? Coming on to mischief? She thought to herself, Ma, look, the book Kumar uncle gave me at the station. He has taken it. Neha called her mother. Mother did not hear instantly. The train was moving fast and there was the noise. Neha could not control herself. She ran to Ma picking up the book in haste. Mom, did not Kumar uncle gave me this book? Neha asked holding the book up. Yes, of course. What is it? Mother was curious. He has taken away my book. Now he wonders it belongs to me at all. Neha's voice full of emotion. But where did you keep it? Ma wanted to catch the situation. There in my bag over there, Neha pointed to the corner of her berth. Ma was not sure. If the man at the window had been to their side, in the cubicle at any time during Neha's absence, she did not remember to have noticed any such move on his part. On the other hand, he had been there all along, completely occupied with reading, could be an ardent book lover like Neha, mother thought. But the book was a gift to Neha from Kumar which was a fact. There was no doubt about it. You should know how to look after your things while on a journey. Now sit down and read, if you like. Neha's mother did not like any kind of commotion. The lady on the bunk was not satisfied. You meet all sorts of people in trains. She commented, putting an extra force on all sorts. The man at the window did not seem to mind it. He was friendly, he said. If you think the book is yours, you... He was interrupted with vehemence. This is mine, of course. This is my Panchtantra book for children. Neha held the book up showing the cover, as if to prove that children's books should remain only with the children. But the man fumbled as he watched Neha fumbling. Well, you can keep it, baby. He quietly stood up walked out of the compartment leaving all his books, magazines, all belongings unguarded on his berth. You can keep it. You can keep it, baby. What does he mean? Neha is no longer a baby. 
Neha is full 11 years old. She is not a careless little girl. Neha sat down on her berth, opened the book but was unable to concentrate. Her little mind was disturbed. The train meanwhile built up speed. Some passengers began moving and arranging their luggage. The destination was close. Neha caressed the book on her lap. She could not afford to lose it. The lady on the bunk watched her and threw a consolation commenting, You cannot do a thing. These days all such people move about freely in gentleman's attire. No manners. The man returned, caught up half the comment. He waited for a minute, bundled up his things and left the compartment, perhaps to wait at the exit door. What was the hurry? He could not jump out of a raining train. Most disagreeable men, Neha pondered. The train was pulling in at the station. Daddy would be in any moment. Neha should be ready to get off. She picked up a bag and started putting her little things in. Mom, look, please. What is it? Mother asked. She stood up. What is it, dear? She repeated. Look, my book is here. My copy of Panchtantra is here in my bag. The copy in her hand was not actually hers. Did you not check it before, girl? What an awful thing to do. This copy may be for his own children at home. The lady on the bunk was ready to get down. She eyed Neha with disdain. The man should have talked to her, should have told her clearly. He should have been frank with the child. Mother intervened. What a man, Neha added in support of a mother's argument. Neha was dazed. Holding two copies of Panch Tantra in two hands, she tried to hold back her tears. She was sorry that she could not say sorry to the man at the window.